Part A, question one. A rectangular door has a width of three feet. The height of the door is seven feet. What is the area of the door? Question two. Larry has 45 square foot tiles. He makes one rectangle that is six tiles long and five tiles wide. He wants to make another rectangle with the remaining tiles. Which choice below shows a rectangle that Larry could make with the remaining tiles? A, 10 tiles by three tiles. B, five tiles by three tiles. C, nine tiles by five tiles. D, 10 tiles by nine tiles. Question three. A rectangle is made up of 24 square tiles with no gaps or overlaps. Which of the following could be the length and width of the rectangle? A, seven tiles by four tiles. B, four tiles by two tiles. C, two tiles by four tiles. D, six tiles by four tiles. Question four. Louisa makes a rectangle with 42 square centimeter tiles. There are six equal rows of tiles. How many tiles are in each row? Question five. Solomon plans to completely cover his nine foot by six foot bathroom floor with square foot tiles. He has 45 square foot tiles. How many more square foot tiles does Solomon need to cover his bathroom floor without any gaps or overlap? Question six. A shaded and unshaded rectangle are joined to make a larger rectangle. Which expressions can be used to find the area of the larger rectangle? Select the three correct answers. Question seven. Helen is mowing her rectangular lawn. The lawn is nine meters by 11 meters. What is the total area that Helen needs to mow? Question eight. A rectangular bookshelf has an area of 108 square inches. One side length is 12 inches. What is the width? Question nine. Consider the figure below. What is the area of the shaded region? Question 10. Mr. and Mrs. Johansson are adding an additional room to their house. They are deciding between two floor plans shown below. What is the difference in area of the two floor plans?